Okay, so I thought I would tell you about antiquing and why sometimes you really have to be careful when you go to purchase things, uh, especially in antique stores. Um, I've had a lot of experience in antique stores growing up. That's where we did a lot of interesting shopping. And you have to be careful with uh, different things that you could purchase and bring home with you. But with that disclosure being said, this is not a scary story by any means. My mom and I went antique shopping in Jacksonville, Florida, where we were searching different booths and my mom was really interested in this one particular booth because it had a bunch of military stuff and she's a military brat and you know she goes in there and I kind of got a warning you know like this warning feeling you know you gotta I got a bad feeling about this and so I started listening to the warning and I decided that I wasn't gonna go in the booth I don't know I just whenever you get a hunch you gotta go with it so I went with the hunch and I went down to the next booth and then the next thing you know, my mom's like, ugh, ugh, get off me. And she grabs a hold of me and she goes, talk to this. And I'm like, what? And so there's nobody in the booth. I'm looking at it like she's crazy. And my mom grabs me and she basically like holds me by the shoulders and just pushes me in there. And I close my eyes and I kind of open up spiritually, which sometimes is not the best thing to do, but don't worry, it was okay. And I said, what do you want? And this energy is like standing right in front of my face. Like, I mean, we're talking like right here, right here. I was like, if he would have had a mouth for bad breath, I could have smelled it. I'm pretty sure. But at any rate, I, I, I closed my eyes and I spiritually said, what do you want? Or voiced it. I can't remember. And he was like, don't sell my stuff. I mean, like he was all up close. You know, and that's a little too close. I'm ready for my close-up. And I said, okay, okay, okay. So I looked at my mom and I said, he wants us to tell the front desk, don't sell his stuff. And so that's what we did. Um, of course, he followed us for a little while and I had to tell him to stop following me. And he kind of remarked back, I'll stop following when you do what I tell you to do or do what I've asked you to do. And it was kind of a rude thing on his part, but I think that he might've been a little bit rude in life because he was a little bit rude in death. So we went up to the front desk and I said, you guys are probably gonna think I'm nuts, but all things aside, I said, there's, there's a dead guy, there's a ghost that does not want his stuff sold. And it's over in aisle whatever in booth yada. I don't know, I can't remember what that was, but in antique stores, it's either set up by rows and numbers or alphabets and lanes and yada, yada, yada. So yada, yada, yada. Uh, at any rate, they said, oh, well, you're not the first person to tell us about these things. And I said, really? They've been trying to contact the people who rented that booth because at an antique store, you typically rent a booth for about six months and you pay for that and then whatever is sold, the the business gets a percentage cut out of whatever you make. I think that's how it kind of works. And I said, you know, I the last time I was in here, I, I had had an encounter with a man who, he used to, in life, he made these, like he, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, like where you take the glass and you pull it while it's still being formed or hand blown vases. And I said, I thought that he was actually there, like a real life form person. And then I realized that he wasn't really there. And it wasn't scary, it just kind of, did that just really happen? You know, you always ask yourself, did that really happen? And I said, yeah, the booth was like, and I pointed over to where it was in the store and the guy was like, oh yeah, you know, his wife just passed away and his kids just came and got those vases, by the way. And I said, really? And I said, well, I'm sure they've both moved on. And so 
I'm gonna stop it right there because it seems to like shorter uploads than the longer ones. And then I'm gonna tell you um, some more ghost stories about antique stores. So this will be kind of like part one, okay?